And we're live! Welcome, Welcome Fuck it, let's to do it live. another lovely session of Chaos. Those of you who it's about to me. <laughs> those of you who are on Twitch, uh, we had a, a lot of sort of discussion before this, and that's great. You got a little bit of bonus content. Uh, those of you that are watching on YouTube, awesome. We appreciate all your views. It's very good. Um, Hopefully we'll get enough views one day and make money. Yep. That'd be swell. It would. Indeed, it would. Uh, really, dude? Really? Where this has uh, ended, this is session 32 of the Chaos Group. 32? Yeah. That's it? Yeah. Feels like so many more. Well, we've missed a lot in the Chaos Group. No, I just because... meant emotionally. And... Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> You have been, uh, you're kind of working on your main quest still, getting, uh, getting all the lovely pieces of the Pearl of Heaven. And in particular, you are heading into, uh, or you're headed to Utosin. <sighs> Had to be the king of the damn town, didn't it? A, uh, a desert town. Some random schmuck I just told you guys, yeah, we're gonna kill this guy. Uh, they told me. Desert to. town of Imako that is seeing a lot of substantial growth uh, you know, of, as far as plant life, which it should not be seeing. The reason of that is, of course, the pearl, piece of pearl. The shard, if you will. Not um, shard, because that's a whole different problem. Indeed. It would be, yes. <laughs> the shard Find of Abin. <laughs> where it is, which is around the neck of Abubakar, the giant mm -hmm. leader, Friends ran knows him. Uh, a boo 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 boo. Yeah. <laughs> a boo boo boo. boo, -boo. <laughs> yeah. well, all I'm saying is that Zabubafu needs to give us a damn shards. <laughs> <laughs> this is Give me uh, Garbanzo bean. <laughs> and they have decided upon, and this makes complete sense, uh, after chatting with Ragnar for a little bit, <coughs> and uh, they have some more potential information that they could get if they wanted to. Um, they have decided to go in stealthily, which makes complete sense because most of them are stealth-based, and to get this piece. And uh, Sorin has a side mission that he has not told anyone about, which is actually killing Abubakar because he is a corrupt uh, douche nozzle. Abubakar, not Sorin. Uh, well, the uh, Sorin is just nuts. corrupt and sometimes a douche, but they're not related. Yeah. You're the douche, he's the douche nozzle. So. There you go. <laughs> just feel like I need to clarify that song. That's fair. The douche is the uh, villain in Sausage Party. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Jess would be here in like 30, 45 minutes. Okay. And that's where we're, st we're, we're kind of uh, at now. They are in the Rolling Ragnar Deluxe still. They have not yet gone too far out. I forgot about that. Uh, to do any other things. They've just been kind of going over some potential options and yeah. uh, plans. I assume you're doing this in a private place. Um, yeah. Yes, we're not just sitting around the tavern. Talking, talking sitting about at the bar. The well, game. let's go kill him then. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> While the barmaid is a giant. <laughs> sure, I know a Baggins. He's over there. <laughs> Frodo Baggins. <laughs> He's my second cousin. Yeah. Place for <laughs> Oh man. No. <laughs> I know about that. Okay, so baggins. Yeah. Proceed. So That's where we are. Yeah. Uh, we've been sitting around discussing how exactly we're gonna do this. Kyron's been oddly quiet. Yeah, Kyron <laughs> has. Um he said I can cast Hex <laughs> at some point. Yep, that's not all he said. Hex is... Um, I'm going to save it as Hex. Uh, I don't think it is. It's not. It's just... I think it's just a... It just does yeah. stuff. Yeah, it gives you disadvantage on any of it's the an attack major roll, six. Though? It has a... It's one or the other. I don't know. I, I actually no, don't know. it's kind of like a... If you place a curse on a creature that you can see within range, so the spell ends, you deal an extra 1d6 necrotic damage to the target when you hit it. Uh, with an attack, of course. Also, choose one ability when you cast a spell. The target has disadvantage 
on ability checks made with the chosen ability, ability checks. Not saves. Uh, if the target drops zero hit points before this spell ends, you can. Doesn't matter anyway. Control. If you throw a hex at it, it does damage, which would wake him up. Yeah. Well, it does damage when, it's when the spell hits. At higher levels, it increases the uh, concentration length. Doesn't matter. Which yeah. is it's a long a time. Well, Still, that's not going to help us what, with what we need there. Yeah. It's already for an hour. It's pretty crazy. But, okay, Rand goes ahead and while that he sends, he takes Bark's armor off. And then he tells Bark, hey, buddy. We just push the button and it pulled back into the set. Well, I really don't want there to like be a showing of armor at all. Well, that's fine. He just has a saddle. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought I'd no, been picturing it differently. It's, it's like Iron Man. Okay, well, <laughs> he retracts the armor so he looks... <laughs> Bark looks like a relatively normal dog walking around. <laughs> yeah, he's just saddled for you. Not yeah, a fucking like, Iron Man. Yeah. <laughs> of course. And then he's like, hey, buddy, head over to this uh, palace tower. Scope it out. It's the building. He lives in the Coliseum. The Coliseum. Just head out. like one of the upper levels. Like, spend the day walking like around kind of thing. and seeing what you the might cards see. cards might be an option. Just like well, just a lot of those people patrolling, are like trying a good to, option to get away. lay of the grounds, and then yeah. come back and yeah. buy a steak later. Night, man. <laughs> okay. Okay. So and Bart he, runs oh, off. And hey, like, you well, should well, tell him to not talk and be like a dog. Oh yeah, you might want to be quiet, Bark. Nope. Yeah. Well, that yeah. might have gone wrong, but I tried. <laughs> so he. Shit. Yeah, he's already out the door. He, so he runs off. He's not and, coming back. Uh, well, you guys realize he's basically our rocket, right? Yeah. <laughs> and okay, so well, when he comes back, we'll see what he finds out. But what exactly do we need? Do we need any? I think we might need to go potion shopping. Potions, are are you a pirate? <laughs> Give me we... an you. Give me an investigation check. I need you know, what you send me? What? what? Oh, it's just me? the battle plan. You're, do you have dice here? No, I just I just cool. yeah. dice. <laughs> you like that? It's not the good worst thing I've ever seen. Investigation what? is one of the things I am extremely good at. What are the green ones? The possibilities of the illusions as he's getting out along that purple line. Seven, I am proficient. Comes in so on the blue. Ten, yeah. that, that means 25. The oh, well, like... <laughs> you don't want him looking that way. You want him looking... Yeah. Way. If I'm proficient, well, he can I'm hide behind him, too. Almost. <laughs> so you could, they could uh, physically actually be stealth as well? What was yeah. Without? Okay. Um, seven. Seven total. I rolled seven. I could call it ten because of my reliable yeah, like, skill. What's total without the ten? Without calling it ten. Oh, so it was 15, 22. 22, yeah. To do what? I, he had me roll investigation to roll seven, ended up 25. Thank you. Yeah. Anything else? Or uh, do no. I find out what that was about now? Or no. Okay. <laughs> okay, so what we need... Yeah, he's the one that checks for every single trap, remember? <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> you remember that? Check for traps. Okay, check for traps again. <laughs> oh, no, you triggered the trap. What the fuck? He, he didn't check for traps. Floor. Eight times in a row. <laughs> uh, give me one more d20 roll. Just just a roll, straight roll. No, we're checking for traps. What'd you do? Is that a one? Yeah. yeah. Red. Okay, thank you. Yes, it's a one. Dude, Bark's gone. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. Bark just died. Didn't he? God. No, he didn't. Damn die. It. He didn't die. Yeah. But he's gone right now. But you'll see. Yeah, he's gone. Okay, um... Um... Well, we can't do nice things, Dave. Yep. We don't... We need to find... We could have just had him walk up the wall instead of sending him bark. Yeah, yeah, seriously. We need have a jeweler. Have you used those cards yet? Not a deck of illusions, no. Okay. We've never used a deck of illusions. We need a jeweler and a magic items dealer. Okay. Do we need a magic items dealer or do we need an enchanter? Well, we need to get a scroll. Eight. Okay. Nine tools magic ore. Bark is in the pound. <laughs> <laughs> a scroll? And a scroll of that. Of what? Uh, Nitro's mad. Well, Rand wouldn't know that, maybe. 
Set something to make this thing look magic. While you guys are talking, you can hear from uh, downstairs. Because, like, you guys are in, like, you're in a private room. Yeah, yeah. in a bedroom. Uh, something. Mark didn't even make um, it out of the barn. You can hear mopping, yelling out, like, I want to go fight the arena. And they're like, no, go sit down. <laughs> I forgot about that. No, go sit down. <laughs> He's like, fine. Just sit down. <sighs> we'll deal with him later. Oh, we don't really care. <laughs> Just yeah, your your peyote filled <laughs> wagon driver. <laughs> no shit. Wish we could have filled up a giant with peyote. I would eat him. So Rand leaned forward and he says, "Okay." That'd be interesting. It would be interesting. I don't know how much peyote you need to OD a giant. <laughs> it's a, a lot more than nice That's a lot he's, of smack. He's, he's he's a big old boy. So we talked it through. Now, let's lay out what the plan is supposed to be, guys. Like, what are you doing? The deck of illusions is right here. I'm shuffling. It's not used ever. It's cards. Uh, it's, it's drawn randomly. Ace through two of each suit. Uh, or ace, ten, nine, ace down to You're using eight, an actual deck of cards to make two. Yeah. Okay, that's it. You're good. I understand. I thought you were just dicking off with a deck of cards no. trying to be a smart No, no, this is the deck of illusions right here. <laughs> yeah. And this one is the, uh, no, the other one over there is deck of many things. Did I set this one up? All right. And Rand is sitting down like yes. he's this oddly we, serious. Like he's Do like, we know this layout at all, Gerald? We don't know. You have to go look. Yeah. You have to climb up and like investigate. And I sent Bart to look at least outside. We'll see how that And now goes. he's in the pound. <laughs> We're dead. So, I get into the guy's room. (coughs) Poor Brian. Poison, get the purple. Those are the first two things. See. Are we right? Yes. Poison, something (coughs) his wife could use to attack. You want to look at these. Uh, Here's the deck of illusions. And then you can flip through it. Have her attack him and get out of order. Are you proficient in poisoner kit? Should be if you're a fucking rogue. Assassin rogues get it. I yeah. don't think I am proficient yeah. with a forgery kit, not a poisoner's kit. And cool. Like, yeah, it's right here. Yeah. What Good happens. to know. <laughs> bigger numbers are usually bigger things, they're scarier. Aces are all awesome. It makes a difference, is my point. Because <clears throat> there's always a risk that you poison yourself in a flying poison if you're not a poisoner. Oh my gosh. <laughs> And so, if that's well, the plan, I need some I need some help from you guys. Yep. You, I point to uh, Kyron. Kyron. I need to borrow your gloves. Don't worry, I'll give them back. I swear it on my dog. I swear to God, if you don't give them back, I'll catch you on fire and laugh. <laughs> and laugh. Well, and, spark flame. well Rand uh, actually takes off his mana cloak and hands it to him in trade to hold his collateral. Since I have to unattune it something anyway. It doesn't work your cloak. But it's it's something. You always wear that cloak. <clears throat> That's the only cloak I've ever found. He doesn't really need to yeah. swim right now, probably. Yeah. But it's collateral. That's cool. They have siege weaponry in here. Does Yeah, there's a reason. I'm going to assume that you're going to represent Kyron. It's, Kyra. it's Ex- okay. uh, He takes the cloak. Okay, and Rand pulls on the gloves. <clears throat> Did you hear about the honorable kind of book that's coming <clears throat> Okay. No, but it sounds rad. Uh, Wizards Coast is publishing a book with all of that in it. I have an, un- an Unearth Arcana. Okay, so. Three, five, um, book, I think. Oh, yeah. Now, what are you guys going to be doing while I'm orchestrating the, this part of the plan? Uh, do, do you all have any plans, or are we just sending the halfling in again? We need to be at one of the windows ready to attack in case you don't kill them. Yeah. Actually, when you don't kill them. Um... Okay, I, I'd much rather have someone else around so, so I don't get hit. We're like, not literally. shields. <sighs> Goodness. We haven't... Well, that's a question. Yes. We're perusing around the city. Uh, would I be able to find someone who sells a magic carpet? Give me a percentile roll. Can Dave make an investigation check and... <laughs> Or Rand, help me investigate for that, maybe. You can give me a percentile roll first, and we'll see what happens from there. And don't assume you fucked up already. 36. And now assume you <laughs> fucked up. 
Do your cards. Okay, what I'm going to do is just make, yeah. make, make the DC more difficult. Yeah. So, investigation check. Uh, all right. I am actually about, if that's the end of our preparations. We're not done with preparations. No, no I mean, if that's the end start. of our, like, discussing, no, then well, Rand, well, Rand was going to go out on the town and try to buy some items. Yeah. It's just started. Yeah, it's just starting, but... I mean, we can do that. We just need to make sure the plan's in place. Okay. And, and then we'll know the what you want to buy. But we, we whenever I do investigate, it's a 25. <laughs> we need a grocery list is what we're saying. Yeah, so... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to make. I'm going shopping for... Yeah. Well, I think we should get some pasta. <laughs> Taco shells. Some pasta. A grab no. <laughs> grab no? Grab no, like the... Like, grappling hooks. Like what Batman has. Oh, yeah. <laughs> also some grapples. They're delicious. I need fish line. I've they are really my good. Gloves. We need a pearl. Pe- a, we need something to replace the pearl. Yeah, a shattered piece of glass that we can make look that looks like the pearl. Have you seen the piece? We've seen the pieces that we have. I know. And we can. Well, we should go to the arena and see. Thanks, it's from it's one of these days. Yeah, no. We so what you're saying is we should go watch at the arena. Yeah, one of the first things we notice. should do today that you sent out Bart. Right. We should just go to the arena. Ourselves. Okay, well, rain, rain, while I'm out shopping, <laughs> yeah. you all can go do some scouting. Uh, no, I think we should all just go shopping and maybe go to the arena together. Okay, that works for me too. Do we got some drinks afterwards? And yep. That That's sounds right. good to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't like to face certain death unless I'm good and drunk. Anyway, or at least hungover. So, I guess we're going to go see if we can find a magic place first. Okay. <coughs> oh, I'm that sell some you magic find items, yes. you find the empty Sven spot Sven spot and it says you know out on business does it have like a back. little clock that There's says a timer back There's what's a timer it's, like <laughs> say like like a digital timer yeah <laughs> like digital numbers back in How long? Uh, 12 uh, hours what does it say it says it'll be back there in about a week great um so you have a lot of time to plan if you wanted to wait on him. Uh, there are other shops. Well, I would say I'm gonna shop around, see what price right. I find at least. Might not buy it this today, but wait for Sven anyway. And while I'm waiting on Sven, what are you wanting to buy? A magic carpet. Uh, well, he's going around looking at that. Rand goes around to try to find any of the. There's only four of us. We can all fit on it too. Of the city. Yeah, as far as like like these people. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah and, and come in. Trying to find From somebody who might specialize in substances. Let's go the, talk the, to Holly Drophouse again. She's the. Um, who is she? She's the guild. Oh. No, wait, that's I, in. I was about to say, that's, that's, that's not place. here. Yeah. You'd have to find if there even was one. Uh, okay, do this for me. And uh, I, he uses his connection being asking all the, like, well, if there are, I forget when a giant city, there probably aren't any just regular sized orphans around. <laughs> there are some. I mean, like it's not just Wait, giants. Right. Wow. We're looking it's for information about places to buy specific things, right? I'm looking for a poison, a poisoner. That would be investigation rolls. And I I'll look around for, for somebody attached guy. to Penumbra to ask about that. That would be the people to ask. All three of us are looking no, for a There was one in the bar. Specific. Right? He's going. Yeah, probably. So investigation from all you of us. You probably find one in another bar, though. Okay, well, so They're hard to find. investigation and the DC will depend on what you're looking for. Uh, so, for example, if you're looking for the underground... Uh, I'm looking for a poisoner, a man You'll be able to find a poisoner <coughs> with your ridiculous investigation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I just wanted to see... Like your base roll by calling 10 is 25? Yeah. And so... Anything 25 or higher, essentially. Like, 25 is... got to find me just about the, anything. It's extraordinary. Is, yeah. is, is the extraordinary DC. Not even better than Slide of Hand and Stone. Godly is next. <laughs> which, uh, yeah, it's freaking crazy. <laughs> but... This happens. And since it's the strongest thing Rand knows about, I know it's expensive, but how much... Do you have happen to have any purple worm poison, this stuff? I know that might be a lot to ask. All right. Um, or anything of a more mystical sort. Or I actually don't know if there's any magic points in this business.
Uh. Alright, give me a certificate roll. Let's we'll see if he's got proper warm clothes. Never know. Yes. Da 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 da. Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> uh, he does. No oh, shit! And how much you ask him for that? Hmm? How much you ask him for a dose or two of that? 2500 gold per dose. How much? 2500 oh. gold per dose. You haven't got it, but. Actually, I don't know if I got enough for two. <laughs> what did I spend my shit on? You paid for something in shit? <laughs> oh, yeah, the scope. That's what I spent all my the shit on. What the hell's wrong with you? So, I have enough for one dose. Uh, yeah, nasty. There's a store called With All Those Things, uh, run by a human human lady whose name is Thola Towerfall. That does what? Uh, it's called Thola's Things, and it is basically a general store okay. kind of thing. Like she has a few. So they're not even mildly interesting. They're just she things. has a few minor magic items. But it's still my anything. favorite story. It's like a mildly interesting thing. No, nowhere close to what Sven has, obviously. Is that where Eli got to? Or is that well, that's I a am? week later. Like first day. He's he's willing to wait on Sven at this point. Oh, okay. yeah. I mean, unless I still would you guys like to see if should... I can find somebody from Penumbra before you yeah, buy so... that poison that for that much. All right. That's why I said I, so I imagine we were doing all this yeah, yeah, on our own, own, going on different ways for a bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess. Uh, I don't even know if doubling up poison. Can't I can't ten. do that. Kyron and I can't do that. Remember that. What? We're fucking hated here. We ten. need to be escorted everywhere. We're keeping yeah, enough. Again, that's why I'm off on my own. I... Yeah, uh, how. I'm just going to continue to look to let you know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to continue to look if we're taking a week, though, so. Like, you will find one. But I'm not uh, even going to buy the other dose because I don't know if Devil and Apple even help. But you will eventually no, find dicks. a a fellow member of that might help in them. one of the CD or taverns. Okay. Um, now again, if number doesn't have a whole lot of power here. Don't need him to have power. Um, <laughs> need their information. Just need stuff. It is a. What shall this fellow be? Let's say. Not another gnome. Goliath. <laughs> Jesus. That's fine. Okay, cool. His name is Tarek. Tarek? T A R I K. Cool. So you sidle up next to him, I guess? Sure. In the bar. He is sitting. <laughs> with his back against one of the walls, surveying the region, the area, the people. Settle up next to him. Mm -hmm. He, uh, and, and thieves can't, you know, suffer that whole crazy stuff. Uh, Wait, what is he again? He's a Goliath. What did Goliath speak? Giant. Uh, common and, and giant. Mm -hmm. Which is just really big font. Yeah. Goliaths, Goliaths are are essentially half, half giant. giants, kind of. Okay. okay. But uh, yeah. if he's of a number one, he's a smart one. He, kind well, of he knows signs. thieves can't, and yeah. he's part giant. Yeah. Well, that's already uh, impressive. Yeah. <laughs> big sausage. I have not fingers. seen you here before. What brings you here? Work. I sign back. I'm not going to make hand gestures to you. That's, yeah. that's, that's silly. It's we always just do this. Thieves can't <laughs> Work. Okay. Uh, what? What's the job? Somebody in power needs to disappear here. Fair enough. A Google car, I'm guessing. Well, you'd be pretty good at guessing. Cool. You need something? Did he sign cool to me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool, you need something? 
Do you know where I can get some? Is it purple worm? Yeah, that's the strongest Rand knows about. Is there anything stronger than purple worm that we have access to here? Let me look. And since Rand isn't, a I don't think that there is anything more powerful listed in here. No, that's there's it. not. Yeah. Uh, but but for the sure. sake of story, this is fun. So. <laughs> yeah. This is the number we're talking this about. This is a shit ton more entertaining than us going, I shot the bow. And I shot the bow. Fireball! Mark. Move Hunter's Mark. Move Hunter's Mark. And I didn't kill it again. <laughs> and Jesse farted on it. And it, <laughs> and it died. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 96. Yeah, the purple worm. Purple worm is going to be the strongest poison. That's as strong as we're going to go. Yeah. Well, here, here, here's the problem. If I present uh, an, an an option for a ridiculously overpowered poison, then you you guys will try to like mass hoard it. No. <laughs> yeah. We can barely. Have we we probably would. He, I mean, he could obviously. But you could make it not happen. Have be like uh, this. Joe, from a plant that grows once every 800 years or something. <laughs> also, that's when do we mass idea. hoard anything? <laughs> I have. That's good. Something like that. Yeah, like you could artificially you restrict that? the I didn't hear you, sorry. Have, have you ended the... Oh, no. Episode? We'll yeah. be right back. Later! Bye. Twitch people, we're still here.